creating a custom list. Now, there are numerous apps with multiple lists built in to SharePoint. However, sometimes none of them fit. So we are going to use the little cog to select add an app. Now what we're looking for is this choice right here called custom list. And we're going to give it a simple name, department managers. And we're going to create that. Now the list will always start out with one column or field. Notice its title. I don't want title. So let's change this. Let's go into our list settings and here's the list settings and we're going to scroll down. Now these are the columns. Title, notice, is a hyperlink. We're going to select it and we're going to change the text from title to department name. And we're just going to say OK. Now, what we also want more than just a department name is a phone extension. So let's create a column. And notice I'm using the phrase number. So down here, we're going to pick number. Now further on, we don't want any decimals in this number. And it must contain information. And we're going to say OK. Now we also want the name of the manager. First name, last name. So let's go. This time I know that in SharePoint there's a column called first name, there's a column called last name. So let's go pull those columns in. So we're going to add from existing site columns. We're going to scroll here, and this is alphabetical. And there's our first name. And then before we close, we're going to go and get the last name. Now you will notice there is no just last name. It's last name phonetic. But we're going to change that. So here's our first name and there's our last name. These are hyperlinks. We select last name phonetic and take out the phonetic. And we say OK. Now we're going to go back and we have our department name, our phone extension number, first name, and last name. Now I'm going to change the view to the quick edit view, and you'll notice I can easily type and fill in this. And the first name is Joe, 